For me, sunrise at the um, at the Puakai hut. You kind of you stay up at the Puakai um, hut there, then walk down to the tarns. That's glorious. That's easily the best photo location in, in Taranaki. The beaches at sunset, like every single beach, doesn't matter which one you are, because there's so many in Taranaki, all of them are glorious. Tuiru Bridge, the Len Lai Centre. There's a real nice shipwreck around the coast near Cape Egmont as well, the lighthouse out there. They're all fantastic. The stuff that's, I think, won me quite a few awards is the places in between, like when going to those locations, sometimes you just see fog through valleys and real nice light through trees and some real character buildings. All of them make fantastic photo content. Go out, put your feet in the water, take a deep breath, enjoy the moment, and then if you feel like it, take the photos, because the best photos are the ones that actually I associate memories with and experiences, and Taranaki's a great spot for gathering them. Quite often when I have like friends or fellow photographers come around and they want to go out and see some of the sites, here at Lake Mangamahoe, Tonga Purutu and the Three Sisters, or the Two Sisters, or up there, it's fantastic. Even if you're not taking photos, it's just a really nice part of Taranaki to bear. The Goblin Forest, even just up Egmont Road, that's awesome. You like those little 45 minute walks. I did one with my eight year old daughter just last weekend. Hashtag Taranaki or hashtag best in travel. And it's a great way for people to find your photos, especially of Taranaki, and to get some exposure and maybe sell a couple of prints as well. It's a, it's a real nice social media experience.